I think I can handle it from here, thank you. <laughs> I just assumed you'd be taller. I can only spare a minute, so perhaps we ought to get straight down to business. How can I be of help? You mean besides not killing me and my family? Well, exactly, because it's rather non-negotiable. The hell did I ever do to you? Sticky fingers, dear. You've absconded some rather vital data, so just return it, and all shall be forgiven. I didn't take shit from you. I played my game and died, got sent home, so end game. Alita West still has it? I don't know who has it, and quite frankly, I don't care. I just need you to leave me and my family alone. You're either lying or expendable in your ignorance. Either way, your death continues to be my only viable goal. <laughs> now what makes you so certain I won't kill you? Right here. I'm not that careless, dear. Now, I'm in a peripheral of one my own. Uh, that doesn't mean I can't deal you an awful lot of pain. Though I do feel like you'd pop right out of that clone at the first sign of trouble. And why would you say that? Now, you see, we got a lot of people like you where I'm from. Folks with power, money, love to walk all over the rest of us. Not the kind to suffer through anything close to a real fight. Yeah, I've lived through many more extremities than you could possibly imagine. It would crush your tiny little head. So please, don't care to lecture me about the pain. I don't want to lecture you. I just want to snap your fucking neck. <laughs> You feel it? <laughs> the darkness closing in, let it be preparation for when I kill you, and it's real. <laughs> See, I got a foothold in your world now. Next time, I'll be coming for you instead. <laughs>